Hello YouTube, welcome to the Ambassador of Aquatic Life channel where we discuss all things hobby and all things aquatic. In this video, I'm going to give you the real hard truth about wild caught fish and domesticated fish. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video. It's going to get quite interesting. Before we get started, I would like for you to direct your attention to the description area below this video where you will find links to purchase books and other Real Hard Sickness merchandise. Thank you for your support. In addition, don't forget to check me out on Fish Law One YouTube channel, the parent channel of this channel. Now let's continue. Earlier this week, I put up a video on my Fish Law One YouTube channel. It was titled, Fish Law 1 Techniques for Introducing Wild Caught Fish to Pellets. And I noticed a comment in the comment section from Lord Z. Rogers asking, which are better, wild caught fish or domestic pestle fish? So I proceeded to answer this question by giving him my opinion on which was best. But for you guys who don't know me, and the ones who do know me, you know I can't give my opinion without giving you the cold hard truth. And the truth is, neither or is better than one another. Now allow me to explain. When you're dealing with wild caught fish, you're also dealing with the illusion that wild caught fish are better simply because they're wild. And in my opinion, this is something retailers and distributors foster throughout the years due to the overwhelming demand for a fresh genetic gene pool by fish breeders. Hold on a minute. Let's take a step back because you know me. I'm long-winded and I'll go on and on making this video longer than it should. The bottom line is this. Domestic bred fish are more suitable for aquarium style living period. Especially if they are a few generations in. Allow me to explain. Number one, their offspring have a greater mortality rate. Number two, nature has this mechanism which switches on and off. We call it adaptation, which occurs during environmental changes which entail something like being born in an aquarium. Now here are a couple of examples of catching wild fish and placing them in an aquarium going wrong. Number one, the salmon or trout. Imagine catching them and placing them in an aquarium and then they're unable to go to their or migrate to their spawning ground to reproduce. That is, that's a really, really touchy situation. But on the other hand, we have exceptions to the rules, such as clownfish. Saltwater clownfish does well in captivity. And they reproduce in captivity. Most saltwater fish doesn't, but clownfish do. So it really boils down to your personal preference. But in reality, the cold hard truth of the matter is domesticated fish, especially if they're generations in, are more suitable for aquarium style living than wild caught fish. There is a little time lapse where they have to adapt. And then generations upon generations, their offspring will become more suitable to aquarium style living. That's just the, that's the fact of the matter. Those are the fish facts, something you heard me say on my other channel, Fish Law One. And that is the cold hard truth. But nevertheless, all these fish are beautiful, magnificent species. And we all should take time to care for them properly. We owe it to them and ourselves to do our due diligence and research before we purchase a certain species of fish. Do your research. 
Now, before I end this video, I would like to give a shout out to a few channels I think you guys will enjoy visiting. Golden Fish Tank, awesome channel. City of the Kings Aquatic, another awesome channel. Lido Loco Full Fish, another awesome channel. Fish Keeping Jamaica, awesome channel. Lord Z Rogers, great channel. And plus, I got to thank him for kickstarting this video. In addition, I have to thank a few people that's always making comments on my videos. Very interesting comments. Great comments, to be exact. Blake Williams and Marco2019. Thank you, guys, for all your support throughout the years. And with that said, this is Skip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out.